A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else, it's useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because through excessive thinking, they have lost touch with reality. Most of us would have rather money than tangible wealth. And a great occasion is somehow spoiled for us unless photographed. And to read about it the next day in the newspaper is oddly more fun for us than the original event. This is a disaster. To get in touch with reality, there is an art of meditation, of what is called yoga or jhana in India, chan in China, and zen in Japan. It is the art of temporarily silencing the mind, of stopping the chatter in the skull. Stop it. Of Stop course, it. you can't force your mind to be silent. That would be like trying to smooth ripples in water with a flat iron. <laughs> water becomes clear and calm only when left alone. Do you get it? Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Bringing you a grand story minimum update! February 1st, 1 a.m. 2019. We were just listening to PTP is here. Power to the people. We'll get back to them later. You just looked at the eruption two days ago of Kuchinorabu. And we were looking live earlier at Sakurajima and Etna erupting now. Saku had a major outburst for the last 12 hours. It's quieting down. But Mount Etna is a threatna. <laughs> we see here this. This is live, folks. We see the explosive activity, slightly strombolian, sending ash into hundreds of thousands of homes over here. <laughs> Just to the left of the screen. It's been blowing like this for a while. Now, this is because cosmic rays have increased for the last two days. We had a KP0 day, and that's about all I can say. Here's your zeros for all you queeros. And it goes left here to January 29th, where we had almost a 24-hour period of cosmic ray flux heating the muons in the subsurface. Thankfully, we've come out of it just exited geomagnetic storm six hours ago put your boom goggles on kids yeah it's boom time <laughs> look at that guy kp5 the lowest level g1 geomagnetic storm this is because thankful to the coronal hole that just coupled with us it was minor perturbation we might see another reactivation back up into this in the next six to 12 hours but that's about all we got there now it gets serious are you serious polar vortex 2019 record cold grips the midwest and the chicago river turns to ice <coughs> a layer of frost has gripped the city of chi town and it's not letting go. The Chicago River looks more like the Chicago Ice Rink, putting the fire department's icebreaker into overdrive. Now, the icebreaker is shattering the ice to deter people from walking on it. And so emergency boats can also pass. Kiss my glass. 
More than 4,000 flights canceled since Tuesday at Chicago airports. St. Paul, Minnesota, the low hit negative 24. That's where CBS News' DeMarco Morgan found dozens huddled in a train station turned warming center. Right now, all the shelters are full. People have nowhere to go. And it's certainly not a ho, ho, ho. But it is a white screen. And that's tonight's first boom. You don't say. University of Iowa student is among more than 21 dead in Midwestern deep freeze. Now, Gerald Belts, a freshman at the University of Iowa, was found unconscious outside the campus building overnight and died later at the hospitals. Probably too many Irish Russian bombs or whatever. And then he fell over like a plover. Not only did lightweights die, but homeless people died in number. Just before the dangerously cold temperatures set in across the Midwest this week, Michael Belts was occupied with thoughts of his son, Gerald, who apparently froze to death. Gerald is one of at least 21 people whose deaths, government officials say, are believed to be related to the bitter weather system that has paralyzed the region. And if you check out Google News, you will not see one headline about anything related to this deep freeze. None. You'll see Trump and Benghazi and any other piece of crap, but you will not see record cold dozens dead <clears throat> as it should read. It's almost tragic what's going on. It's almost illegal, but your whole existence is a fraud. So what, what could we expect from the powers that be? What could we expect except nothing loading and nothing but a shutdown here? Extreme cold hits the Midwest. 10 dead. I know about 22. Thousands of flights have been canceled. And we're not getting anywhere. Pretty typical. It's almost as if they don't want us to know this. Oh, can't do it. We'll get to it. Maybe we won't. God damn it. 